Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Natalie Yant. And I'm Diana Shanks, and you're watching Spinnaker News. Well, guys, the results are in for Super Tuesday. As for the Republicans, Trump won seven of the 11 states, Cruz won three states, including Texas, his home state, and Rubio won Minnesota. Clinton was eight of the 12 states for the Democratic race, and Sanders won the remaining four. If you're registered to vote in the Florida primary, be sure to turn, um, turn out on March 15th. In other news, you may have noticed new additions to the campus roadways. Two speed reading devices. One is located at the university's main entrance near I-295 in St. John's Town Center, and the other is near the road outside of the physical fa uh, faculties in the Fountain Walkway. The speed radars came at no cost to the university as part of a click it or ticket campaign where UNF won first place in the category. Yassim Thufir Ful Aldin, a 31-year-old post-baccalaureate student at UNF, passed away on February 17th. The Islamic Center of Northeast Florida announced his death via social media the following day, and the university was notified on February 24th. Aldin was studying electronical engineering in his third semester at UNF. He previously received a bachelor's degree in electronic engineering from the University of South Florida. Today is the last day for student government voting. Since the dissolving of the impact party, the United Party is running unopposed, leaving the Baker Bill and two plebiscites on the ballot. One plebiscite focuses on whether or not students would want bright futures to expand their scholarships to cover the cost of taking classes during summer. So make sure you go down to the student union to cast your vote. All right, guys, that's it for news. Let's head on over to the green screen for sports. All right, it's better. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Diana Shanks with your Spinnaker Sports Report. The men's basketball team is going to the A-Sun semifinals after they dominated USC Upstate 92-69 last night in the quarterfinals. Dallas Moore led the way with 22 points as the Ospreys claimed their fourth straight win and improved 14-1 at home. As for the Spartans, their trail ended there. After the second consecutive year, the Ospreys have bested them in the conference tournament. UNF now advances to Thursday's semifinal matchup with number four seed FGCU, who won their match last night as well. The win comes just days after Trent Mackey became the first Osprey to be awarded the ASUN 2015-16 Men's Basketball Scholar Athlete of the Year. Mackey is a grad student in general business with a 3.86 GPA and leads the conference in three-pointers made this season with 102. He's one of only 10 players in ASUN history to make 100 or more threes in a season. Mackey joins teammate Demarcus Daniels to become the first Ospreys to land two A-Sun All-Academic Men's Basketball Honors. Mackey is also joined by four other men's basketball student athletes on the All-Academic team. Don't forget to tune in tonight at 7 to see the newest episode of Center Court. Hosts Ryan Hennessy and Alex Gatlin were joined last week by Brent Martineau, so make sure you don't miss this week's show. You can watch it on Channel 170 or listen to it on Spinnaker's radio station 95.5. Well, that's it for sports. Let's head back to the desk. Thanks, Diana. Men's basketball team needs two outlast wins to make it to March Madness. Exactly. So and I think we have a pretty, pretty good shot, exciting. Natalie. Yeah, oh, literally. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing pretty good. Number one seed, so. That's exciting. It is exciting. Yeah, going to have to go to the big game, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Definitely. Guys, also this week, it's going to be beautiful outside. We have a lot of sunny weather, so maybe get some studying done outside. The green is populated. It's awesome. Like, every time I go out there, there's all these people, and they're laying on the green. They're enjoying. All right, guys. Well, for more stories here, you guys can follow us at unfspinnaker.com. You can also like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash unfspinnaker. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at unfspinnaker. Spinnaker also has a free app that you can download in both the Google Play and Apple Store, so make sure you check it out. Absolutely. All right, guys, for Spinnaker News, I'm Natalie Yance. And I'm Diana Shanks. Have a great day, UNF.